Today on the Survivor Diet Challenge, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this into this, into this. I will try to do periodic weight updates in the morning so that I can track my progress. And actually last night I'm pretty glad I took advantage of that weather window and got out on the water to catch a few bluefish. They're certainly gonna come in handy over the next few days. It's another work day today, so I'm gonna use some of the fish that I have stored in order to prepare lunch that I can throw into my broiler oven at work. I'll put a little rice and fish on a piece of non-stick foil and maybe I'll add a few asparagus. This usually takes about 10 minutes to broil at about 400 degrees and it's a really nice, complete, balanced meal. Girls at work have said I've been very moody and uh, I can't disagree with them. He's lost weight, but he's also losing his mind. The taste of clams is starting to get to me a little bit. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Oh, and it's freezing cold. You know, that's not gonna be a good thing for this whole process. It's 48 degrees outside and it's in the middle of the day and it's cloudy and this morning was rainy. Which tells me tomorrow, when I have my day off from work, I was hoping to go fishing, but I might be able to just get some clams again. Not fun. All right. This is what I chose. Let's see what's exciting that's planned for lunch today. Well, it finally happened, but I finally have a proper meal. Check this out. I'm very excited about this. We have rice, asparagus, and a nice piece of fish, all broiled up in the toaster oven. Looking good. Looking really good. Nice white, flaky, striped bass. Look at that. Oh man, what a mouthful that is. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs up. All right. I'm gonna go enjoy this in private. I'm just getting home from work today and I wanna show you guys my first attempt at capturing small animals in my backyard. It's a Tuesday and I have this uh, small animal trap that I'm gonna set in the evening. But let's show you how I set it up and uh, we'll leave it out tonight. All right, so this is called a figure four trap. Peanut butter is bait, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the bait stick and peanut butter. And what we do is pop this stick here, cut little notches in these sticks in order to hold them up. Alright, so you see how that looks like a number four backwards? I'm have to alter that a little bit, but oh, if a squirrel or a bunny comes in, they come in and start eating some of this right here. This stick falls, causing these other sticks to fall, causing the whole thing to come crashing down and hopefully trapping this animal. So let's see how it works. So after work today, I thought I would crack open and clean up a few clams for dinner. Made a bit of a clam cleaning station right here and um, just gonna open and clean up some of the bigger clams without making a mess inside. You get the picture. And some parts in the clam are tastier than other parts. Like this whole part right here looks kind of slimy, sluggy, but it's perfectly fine. Clam. This part is the muscle that holds the clam shells together. Also delicious. This is where we get into the meat of things here. Right there, not so delicious right there. So I take this part, but this part, very delicious. 
I don't know the exact anatomy of the clam, but that part's really good right there. So I'm just gonna cut the guts out here. All right, I have my clams that are uh, all cleaned up, took all the guts out, I, I ate all the muscle pieces that were tasty, and uh, I have about six pieces here that are uh, really good, ready to, ready to eat, but I wanna show you a little trick that I learned from a sushi chef some time ago to test if your clams especially are fresh and as fresh as can be, if they were still alive when they were shucked. So take a look. What you do, you take a piece of your clam, and you slam it down on the cutting board, and if you see it, see it moving and curling up, See that? That one's pretty good. Try this one. And you throw the piece down. If it gives you a little bit of muscle contraction, a little curl up, guess what? A dead clam isn't gonna do that. And this helps to toughen the meat up a little bit. It makes it a little bit more, a little bit more firm and tasty. It's a little trauma to the muscle. It makes it react in a way to make it kind of shrivel all up. Pretty interesting. Actually, Improves the taste of this muscle a little bit. It makes it taste like like giant clam. Oh, look at that one. That one really curled up quite a bit. All right, so these are ready to ready to eat now. A little salt would be great, but those pieces are uh, little gems. Little gems of clam right there. Normally, I wouldn't take these clams and prepare them like this, but this is actually a delicious way to eat these clams. They're very sweet and very tender. Super tasty. Raw is perfectly fine as long as they're fresh and as long as they're clean. They're delicious. There we go. Very good. Next time on The Survivor Diet. All right, there it is. Hey, Survivor Diet fans, if you've gotten this far, then you might as well just keep on going and subscribe to this channel, click that bell, and you'll be notified whenever new content comes out. Thanks again. I really appreciate your support. Most exciting things to film during the Survivor Diet is which is the food that I'm eating. So this is a uh, cherry stone clam just slipped <laughs> off the shell. <laughs> <laughs>